This vlog is gonna kind of be a weird dual purpose one because sadly we are losing Garrett. He has some exciting prospects he's pursuing in his own life and his time with us has come to an end and we're gonna miss him dearly. So we're gonna use this vlog to do two things. One, share with you how awesome Gareth has been in the few years that he's been here. About three and a half going on four years that he's been here at Jazz Studios. The second is as a little surprise for Gareth because we have asked you in a previous vlog what your favorite Gareth memories are. But we haven't told Gareth that we're gonna share our own and uh, show them to him and get his reaction. So I'm gonna cut to the future because it's we've got a couple of weeks with him left, but I'm gonna cut to the future to his last week when we're gonna show him this vlog. So what you're about to watch now is him sitting down about to watch the rest of this vlog and he'll be watching it with you now. Let's go. So it's Gareth's last day today. And to be specific, it's his last hour. It's a, it's a sober, sober mood in the office. It's sort of the thing no one's talking about, but we do have a little presentation we've put together for him, as I mentioned. I don't think he knows it's coming. I mentioned we'll spend the last hour, half hour saying, saying a little goodbye. And Amy came in just to join us. So we've got just a few little gifts. So we're putting, do you want to show? Mm -hmm. So we'll put a little, little, little board together where we all wrote little messages. We made this on tabletop time and I got to paint it this week, which is nice. We give that to him, got a little hamper. Nice little gifties, but really the, the real gift is our, it's our message that we hope he'll take with him and, and cherish. I'm hearing actual wails of agony. Was, it, was this wailing in grief? Yeah, you're filming me flying off to my own planet. What's Billy's happening? Gonna, Billy's gonna do like a visual it's effect shot of me walking out. Yep. For this vlog. You're going to see it know. right now. I have to go now. My planet needs me. Oh my god, you that's some that's beautiful. What a way to go. I'm not actually in the continuity of the story, I'm not here anymore. Some people are just too good for this world. Yeah I am. Oh my oh my god! Ah! Where is oh in the toilet. In the toilet. <laughs> I gotta leave my last, As usual. I gotta leave my last impression. We wanna say goodbye to you. Oh, we have a little okay. presentation that we've put together. So if you come upstairs, a presentation. we wanna sit you down. I am not worthy and of this. And we wanna put you on the spotlight as a oh. final goodbye. This is great. This is not awkward at all. What? Oh. So weird. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, we're a video production company. That's true. But so. you guys have been sneaking around the office all day. I, I know how much we have been. That's true. We're not Since very when, we're not very subtle. Since when do you do editing? I just Well, uh we know you like video gifts. You've made them for your family and other people. I have, yeah. So yeah. we made one for you. So I would introduce this, but it's a solid piece of content that introduces itself. So we could, okay. we could literally just click play. Okay, okay. Hello, Gareth, Ooh, guess Gareth. what? Oh. This video is a little presentation the whole team has put together as a bit of a gift for you because we know how much you love video content and we know also what it means to you to be able to look back on and enjoy some of the things. And we've all enjoyed a lot of experiences with you in the last few years and we wanted to take the opportunity as a parting gift to make a little batch of memories that we all have and share and will always hold dear for the time that you've had here. I'm gonna get the party started. My first impression of you when I sort of went, ooh, wow. And that was in the first month that you were working with me. We traveled to America. It was a very like get to know each other very quickly. We have to go <laughs> to VidCon uh, sort of experience. And when we were vlogging on the day that we went to hang out with Reed and Brenda and show the behind the scenes process working with Smart Art and the box we were making, I remember being in the room talking to Reed and yeah, talking to Reed and Brenda came in the back door. You were in the opposite side of the building, but you had your camera in your hand and you heard a door open and someone come in and greetings happening and you came in there with a the camera rolling like grabbing it and that to me was like whoa this is what a professional I'm pretty good. <laughs> pretty good I got good hearing this guy, this professional camera person capturing the action looks like that this guy knows what he's doing and it's been like that ever since you've just been sharp and skilled and it's been really delightful this way 
He might be anywhere. What are you guys doing being sneaky? What Caroline. Are you yes. Would you like to share two exactly? All right. Whenever. Caroline, yes. would you like to share one of your Gareth memories? Whenever we're editing and we would all have those little breaks and chat and joke around, it was always like just fun getting to know each other and just being silly. And so I would say that. Okay, I'm going to pass this on to you, but not before we cut back to me in the edit, giving you another one. All right, the next one I actually had follows on perfectly with that. Thanks, Caroline. Because mine is Gareth kind of taught me to uh, be a human in the workplace a little bit. <laughs> that sounds a bit dumb, but like I've been obsessively like goal oriented and I work really hard ever since I was a young teenager. And prior to Gareth, when I'm in work mode, I'm in work mode, like no time for chit chat or small talk. And there were a few early on, there were a few moments where I sort of came in and I'd be like straight to work, like at the start of the day. And he'd sort of go like, how are you? Uh, what did you get up to last night? Just sort of like, <laughs> this is how humans interact in the workplace. And I was like, like slowly figuring out, like, I guess in short, Gareth taught me the value of having human relationships while working, like finding that balance. We have a little I know, tradition of just making funny little noises, just <laughs> whenever you see each other, it's good. However, Ooh. I would say yesterday when I was closing the door, you know, locking out whatever, a hand just sort of reached through and grabbed me and spooked me. Look under the door and there's just Gareth going. <laughs> so yeah, he will be sorely missed. <laughs> just crack into that in every random situation we have done for years. That song haunts this workplace now. So Gareth, actually the first time I met Gareth, he came in and he was filming Jazza and I didn't know either of them or who they were. And after we filmed, <laughs> <laughs> Every time. I filmed a little segment for a Jazza video, uh, Gareth actually came up quietly to me and complimented me and said, oh, you're, you're actually, you know, not bad at presenting to camera. You did a really good job. And I was chuffed for ages. He just has that presence of the sort of person that you want to be proud of you, like the person you want to approve of what you're doing. Um, and that energy uh, of like looking out for everyone at the studio and checking how they're doing constantly. Uh, and everyone, you know, you always want to be cool around Gareth. So um, yeah, I think he's just an amazing person to be around at the studio and he will be sorely missed. Story, Gareth and I were staying in the city overnight before an international trip to um, LA, again, separate trip. Oh my God. Where <laughs> at four in the morning, where we're up at the crack of dawn, ready to go catch a flight. He jokingly was like, you know, we've got everything. We're like checking our pockets. We're making sure we've got our bags and we're about to hop in the car to go to the airport. Gareth's like, you got your passport? Like jokingly as if I could ever forget it. And, and I just looked at him like, I forgot my passport. <laughs> You're kidding me, yeah. Yeah. But I could be that stupid. <laughs> So I remember Gareth bringing that up and also driving frantically, ringing Kate, who happened to just wake up at four in the morning and look at her phone and see me ringing. Gareth and I just trekked back. We all sped at four in the morning to meet halfway between the city and my house so my wife could give me my passport. And then Gareth and I headed off to our flight to America. But yeah, good, good times. <laughs> when I think of Gareth McGilvray, I think of a regality. Yes, he's definitely got the, the aura of royalty. Lord McGilvray will be greatly missed. In all seriousness, it's mainly the beard. I think that does it. <laughs> Big one for me was the Cybertruck video. And I, I know Gareth has a fond place in his heart for this too, which speaks volumes to what he prioritizes and is passionate about, because that was a hard slog. We stayed up until 3 a.m gluing tin foil to a cardboard cyber truck hacked onto a broken golf buggy and he was just in it with me and that was just so cool to feel like you know what like it was overtime oh, rates <laughs> <laughs> i did get paid quite well yeah. like I, I the whole time i was like Are you sure like you could go home like this is nuts that we're doing this you don't have to do this and he was just like without batting an eyelash, like, nah, we're doing this, you know, like, let's do it. And up till three in the end, we're gluing tin foil. And then uh, subsequently a week later, when it was like such a grind to edit that and Billy was working remotely on editing it with him, the hu huge team effort. And in the end, we launched it live and got to experience the whole like live uh, joy of sharing what we'd work so hard on with people. Just going through that experience was really memorable and really fun. A lot of hard work. It was stupid, crazy but I don't think we'll ever forget it. 
Gareth's always been a really good listener. Um, one thing that particularly stands out is before I moved here and I was still doing freelance work for Jazza, I was down here visiting and we had a really good chat, just, just a chat. And I opened up to him about the idea of wanting to move down here and work mm. in the building. Yeah. Um, it was a good idea. And, yeah, he really it was a very good idea. Encouraging. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he really encouraged me to do that and pushed me in the right direction at a time that I think I really needed to hear that. So thanks, yeah. Gareth. He's, he's been a part of the team since the team was Kate and myself and uh, Kate's PA or our PA at the time. And, uh, and Gareth. So it was a very small team. And now he's, he's leaving at a time where we've more than quadrupled in size. And through that whole growth period, like not only was he here for over a year of just him and I in a studio working our guts out, but through this growth period as people came in, the way he learned and accepted and enjoyed new people for the who they were individually and welcome them into the workplace with a fun atmosphere and has just always been really encouraging and warm has made a huge impact on the the lasting culture of this company and reflects hugely on the people we have here today um the quality of the workplace we have is largely contributed to by gareth and and those early team members yeah i think it just speaks volumes to to where we are now and where we get to go in the future and I'm incredibly grateful to Gareth for helping set that tone and build a welcoming, wonderful workplace. All right, and I'm just gonna pause you right there to tell you for a moment about the sponsor of this video. I am so excited that this video is brought to you by fartfoley.com. As you know, fart sounds make everything funnier, but sometimes it's hard to find the make everything funnier, but sometimes it's hard to find the perfect fart sound. Thanks to Fart Foley and your subscription there, you can find any fart sound you could want for any situation. Give us a scream. Like yeah, go on. This is one of my many moves. Think we're alone now. It's a content creator's dream. If you're looking for the right fart sound and you're running out of time, you know where to go. Get 20% off. The bar is brown as well. 20% off your first month at fartfoley.com and a huge thank you to Fartfoley for sponsoring this video. So now that Gareth is leaving, do you have any memories you'd like to share? Gareth is leaving? <laughs> <laughs> there are far too many to highlight one as better than any other. And I am legitimately heartbroken that I'm losing my work wife. I spend more time with Gareth than my actual partner. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at me now, so the pressure's on. <laughs> oh, butt crack. See, this is, this is brilliant. This is, this is the kind of guy he is. He's always trying to make everyone happy and get everyone to laugh. You know what? One thing that stands out really well is the hydro dipping video because it was just something that we got to prepare together, like find the objects. That wasn't even that stupid. Prepare together, like find the objects and do it. And we had that stupid photo frame, and as a joke, <laughs> we're like, let's just put a photo in it and see how Joss reacts. I don't think Joss actually reacted to it in any meaningful way, no. but it, I love that that is now uh, on the desk. He gets to, to look at that, and, and I'm assuming when he leaves, he's taking it. He better, yeah. otherwise I'm taking it as a permanent memento of our time together. Oh my God, I'm gonna miss Gareth so much. I remember my most memorable memory of Gareth um, was at PAX mm -hmm. where he was just like covered head to toe in like camera gear and he had these like holsters and there were straps everywhere and he was just like running around. Yeah, I'm really gonna miss him. Yeah. He's a very big personality in the office and he, I remember when I first started, he just made me feel so welcome. Mm. And I wish him all the best for whatever he ends up doing. I can say without a doubt, it's been an absolute pleasure to have him in the studio. I have learned so much from him. He's such an amazing guy. 
and I've never known such kindness from someone and wanting to teach uh, others how to learn and how to do it effectively. I think one of my favorite memories, which I don't know if Rob's already said this memory, um, but it is recorded and it's him and Rob skipping down the front of the studio and I remember them um, having so much fun doing that. And I think that's one of my favorite things about Gareth is that he's just always up for anything. Something I'll always remember about working with Gareth is the feeling of trust, which as a creator and someone growing into a role of leadership and building a company from humble beginnings to bigger responsibilities is invaluable to feel like, okay, like I'm surrounded by people who who are backing me and Gareth as my right hand man on the production end of, of the all, all the channels in the studio has always brought up any questions and be really forthright where he might have had some doubts or not been too sure about things or even questioned the content we're doing you know, like is that going to work or whatever <laughs> but at the end of the day as like we will have those discussions but no matter what it was he's always said I trust you and and that's huge and I'll never forget that. I really appreciate that. Look, I've got to say, it's not just one little package. It's like the whole Gareth. From the moment I started, he was so welcoming mm. and polite and kind. You know, you'd sit down for lunch and he's the first one to start the conversation. Mm. He's the first one to ask you how your day was. Um, he's just always been such a just nice accepting, welcoming bloke. Mm. Um, and it's gonna be really different with him not here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna miss him terribly, big time. Yeah. When Gareth arrived, he did bring a professionalism and um, also a dynamism to his camera work, his, his editing, that has made a, a massive difference and he will, and a maturity to his um, outlook that will be greatly missed. I'm gonna do one last one. Uh, I have a feeling, a sneaking suspicion that when this is being viewed, there might be some emotions. I am incredibly grateful for the sincerity oh, and willingness to be sentimental, caring, and genuine that Gareth has been. That is an impact that is invaluable in an organization where people need to take risks or um, make mistakes. But to know that they're surrounded by a team that cares um, and that the priority is always each other and what we can do together is, is it means everything. But I'm also really humbled and grateful. Gareth, thank you so much. I love you, Gareth. We'll miss you. Love you too, man. Ooh. Round of applause. Hey. Oh, you, you got me on a little bit at the end. You got me. Oh, what's she going to And we're playing again. <laughs> so thank you for bringing a lot of love to our workplace. We wanted to make sure you're leaving with a bit of love back. So we all put this together for you. Oh, my God. And uh, this is also a little gift from Tabletop Time. When someone leaves, you're meant to feel betrayed. You're not supposed to be giving gifts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we expect these back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is just on loan, is it? <laughs> oh, that's gone straight up in my studio. So that when I'm, oh, I'm going to be very sentimental when I start working on uh, my own stuff. And seeing that up on the wall and everything, it's, I was hoping to have something to remind me. Not that I need that, because I've got like years of like videos to watch through. It's just, um, Usually when you leave a workplace, you're like, see ya, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> but no, it's um, very, <laughs> it's very bittersweet leaving here. Where are you going? Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's the best place I've ever been. And it's probably the best place I'll ever, will be, you know? And that's, that's that. But <clears throat> yeah, I, as I've said before to a few people, um, I literally just can't wait to be a fan. More than anything, I just, I can't wait to be a fan, and I will always subscribe to the 85 new channels you start. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll, watch, I'll watch every single one of your videos, and the next person you get in is, I'm sure is going to be fantastic. You've got a great knack for picking the best people for the job, and I, that's reflected in everybody that's in this room. And yeah, I'll remember my time here very, very fondly, and I'll miss you all. Thank well, you.
clarify. We could go get back to the edit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I haven't like opened stuff. I've, I'll mm-hmm. do this on my own. This, this is, is, this for, is for this myself. This is for you and the family. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's, what? You, that's you. Wait, pretend oh, yeah, this that's... is a completely separate section yeah. so we can use it that's, in video. That's, <laughs> that's really <laughs> scan of you. That is... <laughs> oh my god. And no one's ever made something f- of my likeness before, apart from like a couple of drawings here and there that you've that done, is, but well, that's that very, is very cool. physical exact face. Yeah. Model, so. I was going to say, then yeah. don't look in the back. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty accurate to my... Pers- so this personality, is really. what you get from working here. You get uh, millions of people knowing who you are. So you're famous. You're a lord, yeah. and you have a statue. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And actually, there's one. There's one. Well, just one last thank you I want to say, and that's to the community. Thank you for being absolutely fantastic. Like the meet and greets that we've been to. Even though you're not there to meet and greet me, you met and. Grab me. <laughs> and they I, have a few messages just for you too. So I reckon we'll wrap up this yeah. vlog and uh, I'll share a few of those. With I just I felt very loved by you all, and yeah, the same goes from me to you. Thank you. So we started off in your first week here. You remember we sat down, we did a Q and A, yeah, um, and we encouraged people a couple of weeks ago to send in a few memories. So I just thought what we got, all got to share our memories with you. Mm-hmm. Thought I'd just share a few from the community as we say goodbye. Uh, Boom said favorite Gareth memory or moment. All of them. Wow, that's a lot. Casey Chronicle favorite memory is you pelting me with a water gun full of paint. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Uh, Ma- wow. Malvac. Malvacian crayons. Mal- Malkavian crayons. Says, memory that springs to mind is the live stream when Jazza signed all the artwork and moved into his current studio. I was near tears laughing as Jazza and Gareth bounced off one another, slowly losing their minds. Good good luck, Gareth. Mm-hmm. Kay Smith says, favorite memory of time with Gareth. Uh, do I have to pick gut reaction that says Christmas one? We're making gingerbread houses. Yep, and you okay. fall asleep under yep. the table. Die Hard is a Christmas yep. movie. Yep. Anthony Cotto, favorite memory. How you would summarize, just generally, how you inter- interject behind the camera, kind of like the voice of the viewer with great quips reacting mm. to the shenanigans. I would say the voice of reason. Yeah, well, it, it was a yeah. really, it's a really fun layer and yeah. dynamic to the content. We both really enjoyed. it. we got good yeah. banter, yeah. Definitely. Um, Naj says, uh, I just hope he knows it's been a power, powerhouse. Uh, uh, there are a couple of way too close deadlines for videos he still delivered on time for, and those were always insane videos from what mm. I recall. And 100% I back that. Like, yeah. ma, short, the ones that go, one in the morning the, on the your ones birthday. that go into like the crazy late nights where we both are just very, yeah. we feel it. There's, yeah. there's a feeling in those videos when we're making them. It's like, yeah, this is something special. We've got to put in the time, yeah. extra time for this. So, yeah, and, and you know what? It lives forever. You know, we get we get to look back on that's on one of that the best stuff. things for me. Yeah, you know, I can look back on like the hundreds of videos that I helped put together here and hundreds that I'm part of as well. So yeah, yeah. well, I guess this is goodbye. The last three and a half, almost four years, mm-hmm. um, that it's, gets to live forever too. It's we get to take that been with a us. journey. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say goodbye yeah. to the vlog. You've got your bloody question of the day. Oh. And we can say bye, Gary. Do you want to oh, do my, the honours? Yeah. Oh. oh, I've seen you do this before. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. yeah. You, can, you, mi- you missed it. It's a, it's a little... No, that's the microphone. The lower. Oh, oh, oh. All right, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right. Like, it's like that. Bye, everyone. See ya. to go now. My planet needs me.